Thank you for tuning in to Ebony Ladies in the DR. I'm your host, Bridget, right here in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. And guess what today is? Today is the first day of the Pro Tour Golf Tournament. My first Pro Tour. So this is one of the things I'm doing in Dominican Republic now that I have time as a semi-retiree is volunteering. So this is a Pro Tour, my first one. I'm so excited. So if you could take a look around, this is um, Corrales Golf Course in Punta Cana. It's in the Cape Cana area and the golf course is on the water. So if you're not a strong golfer, you might not want to pick this as one of your first courses because if your ball lands in the water, it's a goner so take that into consideration so I'm gonna be bringing you a lot of activities um, I doubt if I will be bringing you any of the pro golfers other than just a picture because I'm not allowed to film with them as a volunteer but I'm gonna bring you a lot of really cool events a lot of things that's going on today's just the first day so enjoy <laughs> As you know, I'm here volunteering at the PGA Tour. Got my credentials, got my shirt, got my hat. Volunteer tent, sponsored by none other than what? FedEx, hi Memphis. So we are out here. The tour is gonna be starting pretty soon. So we're just out enjoying all the beautiful sights, everything that's going on. As you can see, they are observing um, COVID-19 and we're social distancing. I got my mask, nobody's around me, so I don't have to have it on now. I am a walking scorer, so I will be following a group along with three pro golfers and I'll let y'all know who my my golf team is I will know tomorrow morning today is our practice day and pro-am so I think these are some people that are still qualifying so this is a big PGA tour first time here in Punta Cana the purse or the prize money is four million dollars so we're gonna have some top-notch golfers out here participating so I'm loving it and so as you can see more people are arriving it's gonna get busy around here so we just tried to film a little bit and show you guys some some of the things going on before we get to work So I just finished my first day as a walking scorer. It was a trial so that I can be ready for the pros tomorrow. But I did a walking score for um, one pro golfer and three amateur golfers. <laughs> I had no idea that the amateur golfers were so unique. I'm gonna use that word today okay so my professional golfer is Sepp Straker um, I don't think I'm gonna be scoring for him the rest of the tour I think it was just today but I'll let you know but look for Sepp Straker on the leaderboard because his game is really good now I didn't realize that the um, pros walk the whole course amateurs in the golf cart I don't know what kind of sense that made but uh, yeah the amateurs were riding around flossing and uh, uh, 
pro golfer. He walked the whole course. I walked the whole course, but it was only nine. But who knew they were in such good shape because I'm exhausted. You got the Dominican sun, Dominican heat. So guys, um, I got to question my volunteerism in the future. But so far, I'm having a great day. First day only. I will get back to you tomorrow. It's day two of me volunteering at the PGA Tour here in Punta Cana. This is Corrales Golf Course. So I showed you a little bit of the golf course yesterday. Today, we're going to see a little bit more. So this is actually the first day of the official tour. Yesterday was the Pro-Am. So I was with one pro. Shout out to Sepp. I hope he does a good job. And three amateurs. So today, three pros is on they are ready to win this three million dollars so or four million dollars I think the person went up but this is a, a PGA tour that's gonna go down in history why because of the pandemic this is the first PGA tour that doesn't have spectators now of course there will be a few people who will be here and be able to participate and actually watch the tour but they're only because they're homeowners here in in Corrales so if you're a homeowner like we are in Cocotau if there's a golf tournament in Cocoa no spectators but of course as homeowners they'll get to come out and enjoy so I think it's gonna be pretty cool that's one of the perks of living on a golf course but when you are thinking about your next home and where you want to retire I know a lot of people were asking us why Punta Cana because it's a tourist city and you know they feel like it's gonna be busy but it doesn't bother me so what you want to remember is if you pick a good city like Punta Cana a touristy area and you're still young and you want to have lots of activities lots of things to do just think about it we're here in Punta Cana we're able to volunteer at a PGA tour if you're up north or if you're in a smaller place that does that's not a touristy city touristy city then you have to remember you may not get as many cool activities and cool things to do and I mean you know laying on the beach is cool I I'm all for it all day every day but when you do want to stretch your legs and do a little more and be more active in the community think about all the things that your city has to offer as an expat is going to be really important to you your quality of life and just having a lot of fun things to do so we stopped on the way in to volunteer to show you guys all the cool things that they have set up on this property it is absolutely beautiful I'm getting ready to go check in I have to I'm a walking scorer so we'll see how I do today. Yesterday it was nine holes. Today I have 18 holes to do. So I put on some pants so I can move around a little bit faster because those golfers walk fast. I was rushing yesterday to keep up with the caddy. But today I'm ready. I'm going to check in again with you guys at the end of the day and let you all know how it went. I'm back guys it's the end of day one at the PGA golf tour here in Punta Cana at Corrales Golf Club okay if you ever thought you were in shape walk 18 holes with three pro golfers and their caddy and a camera crew all right and it will test your fit ability okay I'm still alive so I did make it so I guess I'm in pretty good shape for 50 right I made it 18 holes I didn't know 18 was gonna be my favorite number so I'm at the end of the tour today I'll be back three more days but I am standing in front of the clubhouse here at Corrales you see there are a few spectators is a spec non spectator event because of coronavirus but these are people who are working the event as well as family members of the pro golfers as well as owners here at, Lo at Corrales uh, property okay like I told you so just check out everything around us you'll see the scoreboard behind me and the clubhouse and if you look pan over to your left 
over there there are a few pro golfers in there uh, practicing for tomorrow so just look around take a look at the ocean is right off of this golf course it's a beautiful place I will be back tomorrow for day two another 18 holes getting these legs in shape of Ebony Ladies in the DR and I just completed my second full day here at the PGA Tour 2020 in Corrales Golf Course. This is an amazing course. I'm tired again today. Did another 18 holes. Three different pro golfers. Now I'm gonna say this. Not all pro golfer is created equally. So these guys that I'm playing with today may not complete the rest of the tournament I don't think that they qualified so and may be done I may be able to just enjoy taking out the golfers and the rest of this beautiful property here so if you are visiting Punta Cana Dominican Republic check out a day pass for Corrales golf court and resort because they do have a private beach Playa, Bla Playa Blanca so you want to go to the private beach here and check it out somebody asked me about my band this is a band that shows that our temperature was taken that we were temperature free who knows if you're COVID free or not but we were temperature free when we started our shift this morning so that's what the wristband is about so everybody wanted to know so I'm standing in front of the board of sponsors so this is a huge tour usually a lot more sponsors because of coronavirus some of the sponsors did pull out um, because it was a non-spectator tournament but check out all the sponsors that hung in there and that's part of that four million dollar prize so we are happy to be a part we're happy to be volunteers we're happy to be residents here in beautiful Punta Cana Dominican Republic everybody's asking me questions why I picked a tourist city this is one of the reasons and as always if you have questions about relocating or becoming an expat in a tourist city or in the Dominican Republic or if I can you with any other country I'll be happy to give you some insight don't forget to log on here every Thursday uh, on YouTube 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time be sure to hit like subscribe and share I'm your host Bridget thank you for watching Ebony Ladies in the DR this is Bridget Ebony Ladies in the DR at the PGA Tour today is the last day of the tour I have volunteered for three of the four days. Yesterday we had the opportunity to have the day off. And I think I brought you guys some footage from yesterday. So enjoy this episode. If you've never volunteered for any type of major sports event and you get the opportunity, it's an experience of a lifetime because these athletes put in the work to get to the point where they are. So the PGA Tour, this was um, the first one in Punta Cana of course during coronavirus and if you see behind me these are the checkpoints for anybody coming in including myself visitors so if you see required for entry here it'll show everything that had to be done so i showed you the wristband this is the temperature screening station they take everybody's temperature to make sure they're not at least asymptomatic at this point so i think they did an awesome job uh, we have our mask no one's around me right now the players are playing i just finished another 18 holes go bridget another 18 holes up oh, and i got golf balls the pro players are super nice uh, we're going to move around a little bit and i'm going to share a little bit more information with you about being black in the dominican republic <laughs>
decision with Ebony Ladies in the DR. I made myself officially the press. <laughs> so soon I will be at that level and you'll see Ebony Ladies in the press room with the rest of the media. But for, day, for today I'm out here and I'm just volunteering and I'm happy to be a volunteer. So I had a couple people to ask me about being black in the Dominican Republic and the differences. I'm gonna point out a huge difference to you all now. Why I left the United States and transitioned to a new life in the islands. Yesterday, Davlin and I were off, so we came up in our street clothes. You know, we dress up pretty nice, I, I have to admit. We looked extremely nice. We had our credentials. We went everywhere, because it's all access. We went around um, and just stopped at all of the, the little setups and the tents, everything that they had. Each step along the way, you can see official people with the PGA Tour, people with the press, people with CBS. People would say, hi, how are you all? Enjoying the tour? You need anything? Let everybody know. The information desk is over there. You guys got a day off. Good for you. Everybody was happy. Everybody was pleasant. It, it felt so good. In the U.S., had we been at, let's say, the Woodlands Golf Course, let's say uh, Clear Lake Golf Course, we would have been stopped at least three times because we're black. And they would have said, well, why are you in this area? What are you doing here? Are you off today? Okay, well, visitor or volunteers need to stay over here. It was a whole different energy, a different feeling. And, and I was kind of on guard when I came to go walk around and enjoy the day day until after that second person I was like this is not the United States I have got to let that go so when you transition from the United States to an island or to anywhere else a new home leave the old baggage behind we talked about that on previous episodes so if you're a subscriber you would know that but leave the old baggage behind you adopt your new country and get to get to know people and get to um, get the feeling of the island or wherever it is you're going to, to be an expat. But here in the Dominican Republic, I'm going to give them a thumbs up because they have treated us like equals. That's all we're asking to be treated like, our equals. Here in the Dominican Republic, I feel like as a black American, they treat me as an equal, no better than anyone else, no worse than anyone else. Unlike the United States, everybody's still fighting to be equal. So you know what I'm going to say next. Don't forget to get out and vote. Guys, the time is winding down. Be sure to vote. And if you are um, in an island, you're an expat, make sure you take the necessary steps to do your absentee vote. Voting. but I'm here at the PGA Tour last day I'm done volunteering I'm gonna get some lunch I'm going to the beach we will be back later on um, hopefully with some footage of the ceremony if we can get close enough because it is a non spectator because of the coronavirus but we're gonna do our best to bring you some footage but like I said pick a city that's gonna give you the opportunity to get volunteer to get out and meet meet the people and be a part of the community so I am so happy I did that I'm exhausted but I'm coming back in March I got the approval that means I did pretty good Ebony Lady Bridget okay uh, it's enough PGA Tour 2020 see you guys next year <laughs>